Hi, thanks for joining me. Today I want to talk to you about asking for help. All right, so before we begin, show some channel love, hit that like and that subscribe button. And also don't forget, leave a comment in the section below if you like this video or you have something concerning this video or video that you would like to see us make. All right, so let's begin. Uh, the reason why I wanted to do this is because I want you to realize that you're not alone and that you have others standing by that's willing to help you. Now, what I mean by that is um, you can ask your God, you can ask angels, you can ask ascended masters, you can ask past relatives, teachers, those that have gone on and that are now occupying the spirit realm. You can also ask um like um, gnomes and fairies, they come and assist. They're always working around you doing something. Um, what I do wanna say is develop your own relationship with them because some are known for being tricksters or playing tricks or playing little games, stuff like that. But I think it is, it will help you and benefit you more if, you develop that relationship with them, a communication type thing with them. So you may need to do a little journaling so that you don't forget that when this happens, if it's a cool breeze or a warm breeze um, or pressing on a body part, something may tap you on the shoulder, something may just kind of press in to nudge you a little bit. And that's their way of saying, I'm here and I'm willing to help you. OK, uh, and the reason why I'm saying this is because some people feel that it may make them less adequate um, and that they don't possess the ability to assist. A lot of times you're doing things to help others and for someone to come to you, they realize that they needed help and they couldn't go it alone. So they came to you for help. And that may have taken a bit more out of them because they may have felt that they're independent and they can do it by themselves. You can too, but if there's others that are willing to help you, others that have um, moved through the ages, I'll say it like that, they've moved through time and they moved across dimensions and they have assisted others over the years. And that's why I said the ages because it may have been centuries and it could have been lifetimes but they may possess the uh, wherewithal, the experience and the fortitude to join with you because that's what they're doing. They're joining with you and you're directing them, kind of telling them this is what is needed for this, that or the other. And they're stepping forward to help accomplish that goal, be it for yourself or for someone else. So it's really necessary sometimes that we ask for help, especially if we're doing uh, some type of metaphysical activity to help someone and it's just not happening for them. Um, say you've done this um, over and over. It could be, you could be using incense, you could be using a ritual, you could be using candles, you could be doing all types of uh, things to assist someone. And they're getting right there, but no breakthrough. And it's, you're seeing a change, they're experiencing a change, they're telling you, I'm experiencing a change with this, but just, it's not, it's not going to the end. So it's not breaking through what may be a wall that tends to be hindering them or slowing them down or keeping them from really just obtaining success in a certain area. And so you're helping them and it's still no success. You're reaching a level of success, but not reaching the goal. And so if you ask others to step forward, they may be able to give you just that assistance that's needed to push through and help you accomplish that goal. That helps you and that helps the people that you are trying to assist. All right, so just remember, you're not alone. And this uh, asking for help and invoking help from others helps you. It gives you the ability to do more and to assist more. Um, the other thing is I want to say, if I didn't say it before, you can also ask for the assistance from elements. Yes, when, 
fire, earth, water. These are constantly moving around us. So you can ask for that type of assistance too from them, as well as from the crystals and um, ascended masters, angels, and your ancestors. All of them are sitting by, standing by, uh, just waiting, just waiting for an opportunity to assist because we notice when we help others, we feel so much better. There's a different type of feeling that we have when we assist others and when we can help others and we're able to help them and help them reach their goal. It takes a burden off of them. So there are others that have assisted over the years and they are willing and able to assist. So don't forget, go ahead, ask for assistance. You're just getting others to help you help others and increase your ability to be more effective in what you're doing, all right? So again, thanks for joining me. And if you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button and leave a comment if you are so inclined, all right?